yeah, I think uh, the young players have had a lot of playing time this season uh, for Arabi. And it's different from before at this club. Uh, so, so we are quite happy with, uh, with have done this, this this season. Of course, when you play young players, they are lacking experience. But how can you get experience unless you play? So it's a, it's a double-edged sword. And uh, I think now we are, we are happy we did this because we have a few young players with quite good experience after this season. And I think it's necessary for Arabi, for, uh, for the future of this club, to have a sustainable system, that is, we can produce our own players for the first team. Here it's, uh, it's too much of uh, players on loan because it's a, a, a short-term thinking. Yes, you can benefit for a short period, uh, but in the long run, you, you are giving on loan players playing time. You, you're giving them playing time. You play, you, you're giving them training time. You're giving them the time from the coach, which we can give to our own players. So in the end, in the end, uh, if we have talent enough, I think it's always better to focus on our younger players ourselves so we can produce uh, good players for the future of the club. Uh, sometimes, of course, you, you don't see the talent. Uh, it's maybe deep, you don't have it. But I think in this club we have quite a few good players. If we focus on them, they, they, can, they can develop quickly. So, yeah, it's not, it's not like I've said before. It's not only to grow your talent, to grow the, the, the talented players you have in the club, but it's also to grow the culture because these players will have the heart for the club, the mentality to work hard for Arabi because they, don't, they, they want to play for this club in the future. And if we can make them first team players, then if you look at players like Jasim Jabber, uh, Sulaiti, Khalifa Mahmoud, these are players that will play for this club for the next 10 years. So we have not only gained a player for this season, we have gained a player for the next 10 years. But for me, the biggest reason is we, we build a culture in the club. So whoever will, will be the coach, whoever will be uh, in control, the culture is there because it's homegrown players who have a heart for the club, are willing to work hard every day to improve. And for me, this is the biggest benefit of playing young players. We feel disappointed with the referee's decision and we feel betrayed because we think and we, we know we deserve more from the last three games than we got. And uh, we feel like points have been taken away from us because I and I think all the Arabi supporters and the people who were watching the game know that the performance of the players was good enough to win, I think, all of these three games. But decisive decisions made it uh, that, that, we, that we couldn't. Uh, what can we do? And what can I do? I think it's best for me uh, not to comment. It's, it's for others to, to take decisions on, on, on these matters. But I think it's best for me uh, not to comment on, on referees. Yeah, we, we will keep on playing, playing young players. Uh, and we always give them a chance to, to shine and show what they can do, what they are made of, uh, both on trainings and in games. So, yeah, we'll see when the game starts, if we play a lot of young players or, or the same number we have normally done. But we will always give them a, a, a chance to, to show if they deserve it. Yeah, we've... We've, with the players, been, been speaking together after uh, after last game, and, and I think and I feel we have to keep on playing well. That's that's the first thing. Uh, and no matter what happens, no matter what happens on the pitch, we should focus on the things that we can control. We should not focus on things that we cannot control. I think this is the key thing at this moment. Uh, and stop feeling sorry for ourselves, just keep on going and, and trying to improve every training and every day.